Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. I am headed off to work. Um, just a normal work day today, so that's always good. Um, let me just show you what I'm taking for breakfast, lunch, and snack today. Okay, here's what's for breakfast. I have my coffee brewing over there. I've got the Great Value French Roast K-Cup. I use uh, 10 ounces and brew it on strong. Today I'm using one tablespoon of fat-free half and half in my coffee for zero points. And then I'm also going to use this Weight Watcher Cafe Creations Mucho Mocha. It's like a creamer, um, but it's a tiny bit sweet. It's zero smart points. So my coffee will be zero smart points. They actually make this in mocha and vanilla bean. I love the mocha the best. It's really good. Good chocolate flavor. So coffee this morning will be zero smart points. And then I'm having my peanut butter banana oatmeal. So in the jar I have a quarter cup of dry oats for two smart points. I have two tablespoons of PB Fit, the powdered PB Fit for one smart point. I have a half a cup of silk cashew milk for zero smart points, one third cup of water, and two sweetener packets for zero smart points. So everything in the jar is three points. When I get to work, I will heat this up for about two to three minutes and then slice the banana and add it. I actually don't like the banana cooked into it. I like the banana fresh and then add it to the warm oatmeal. So the oatmeal is three smart points for peanut butter banana oatmeal. That is breakfast. Lunch is a new wrap. I am so excited to try this. It sounds so good. So this is a Reuben wrap. Um, it is it's three smart points. So what I have is an Olay Extreme Wellness wrap on the bottom for one smart point. I have the Sam's Club Members Mark corned beef. Um, I will insert a picture right now of that. So the corned beef is actually pretty low in points. You can have three and a half ounces for one point and three and a half ounces is a lot of meat. This is this is gonna be a really very filling wrap so that's good so the Olay wrap is one the three and a half ounces of corned beef is one and then I have one slice of the Jarlsberg light cheese for one smart point and that comes from Trader Joe's I have some great value horseradish mustard for zero smart points so everything in the wrap is three points and then I have three actually I think it's four tablespoons of sauerkraut which I will just spoon on the wrap as I eat it I didn't want to put this inside the wrap because it will make it too wet and soggy so four tablespoons of this sauerkraut is zero smart points be careful with the sauerkraut because I thought it might be zero points altogether um, however, I did discuss with Gina just last night, um, a lot of the pickled vegetables do have more points. So because this is a pickled item, it does have points um, eventually. So four tablespoons is zero. This is weird because four tablespoons is zero, but a quarter cup is one. <laughs> so I didn't question it. I just put my measuring cup away and brought out my tablespoon. So this sauerkraut that I measured in here, which looks like a quarter cup, <laughs> is zero smart points. So the Reuben wrap for lunch, I'm very, very excited to have that. And then with the wrap, I'm going to have my fire roasted tomato soup, which is just uh, fire roasted tomatoes straight out of the can for zero smart points. And then I heat it up and eat it as soup with my wrap. So that is lunch, lunch is three points. For snack, I'm going to have some sugar-free Jello for zero smart points. And then I'm also going to have a baked apple, which is super yummy. So here's how I do a baked apple at work. I slice the apple and put it in the microwave for, I believe, like two to three minutes. Then when it's done, I put this um, concoction on the top. This is just a teaspoon of raisins for zero smart points, a teaspoon of cranberries for zero smart points, and a teaspoon of chopped almonds for zero smart points. So I put that on top, and then I also have my Walden Farms syrup. Let me grab that. 
Okay, so this is the last of my Walden Farms syrup. Walden Farms uh, pancake syrup is zero smart points. So I'm looking for more of this in the stores. I did not see it at Walmart, although Walmart, Walmart had Walden Farms dressing. They did not have Walden Farms pancake syrup. So I hope they have this at Albertsons. Otherwise, I will be ordering it online because I do like the fact that I can use as much of it as I want for zero smart points. So bake the apple. Add the crunchy, chewy toppings, add the Walden Farm syrup, and then put a whole bunch of cinnamon on top. And it is so good, you guys, especially for like a work treat to have something like that at work. So that baked apple is all zero, zero points. So snack today is zero points. So here's what we have again so far today. Breakfast is three points. Lunch is three points. Snack is zero. So that is six points for me until we get to dinner. Hey, so I am on my way to work, um, taking a new route from the new house, so hopefully I get there on time, but it's not looking very good. Anyway, I just wanted to chit chat with you guys a little bit about what's going on with my eyes. Um, so I had those two doctor's appointments yesterday. Um, What's going on is that I was diagnosed with a cataract in my left eye in 2010. So I think I was like maybe 30 something. Yeah, I was 30 something. Pretty young to have a cataract. So it wasn't too bad for a while and um, I just ignored it for a while and I don't think they would have had me do anything with it at that point anyway. Um, but over the last year, it has gotten like noticeably worse. Um, so I'm just ready to get it taken care of. I really want to be able to see properly again. Um, I am pretty much basically legally blind in my left eye. So um, it's really irritating to, I mean, it's just really hard to try and focus, especially at work, to focus from like computer to paper to distance. So it's just in general really irritating and I'm just ready to be able to see. So um, it's a very scary thought um, to think that I have to have cataract surgery. To I mean, anybody like coming near your eyes is like kind of freaky. But the good news is, is that um, I'll, number one, I'll be able to see again, woohoo, out of that one eye. So, I mean, the good news is I won't have to wear my glasses anymore. The bad news is I will have to wear a contact in one eye. <laughs> so that will be a little odd, but I am, um, I actually like myself so much better without glasses anyway. I got glasses and braces the same year as a kid in fourth grade and um, you know children are just mean so I was of course teased relentlessly and I've always always hated my glasses so um, I was scarred for life in elementary school <laughs> so um, I will be super excited not to have to wear glasses um, but I am a little concerned because you guys notice that I do alternate between glasses and contacts. Number one, because it, I really cannot see very well at all with my contacts. But number two, because um, if I wear my contacts too many days in a row, my eyes get really irritated to the point of um, like it's almost like they're infected, like they get, they start seeping. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, I have like slime layer TMI, but that's what happens and I don't know what causes that and how to stop it. So I will need to talk with the eye doctor, I'm sure, um, to figure out a solution or how I can prevent that because if I have to wear a contact every day in one eye, that might cause some problems. But anyway, that is what's going on with me. I have I mean in a couple weeks they they will measure my eye this eye and then probably a couple weeks after that they will do the surgery so we're looking at like a month um, it's gonna be well after Memorial Day um so yeah thought I would just keep you guys updated and um, in the know <laughs> so anyway I am headed to work I've got my super delicious coffee I forget how good um, those Weight Watchers little 
creamers are. They call them creamers, but really they don't make the coffee creamy at all. That's why I use the one tablespoon of half and half for zero smart points. They do add just a little bit of flavor, um, not really even not very sweet and not too much flavor at all so it's pretty good for me because I don't like super sweet flavored coffees I usually like my coffee to just taste like coffee so but on days where I really just need a good um, zero point cup of coffee it works it works really well so I need to buy some more of those um, you can only use one of the packets though for zero points because if you use two it's one point so FYI, I am super excited. <laughs> you guys laugh because there are times when I just get so excited about my food. I am super excited to try this Reuben wrap. I need to look up whoever it was who recommended the Reuben wrap for me because I know it's gonna be delicious. I tasted that corned beef last night when I was making the wrap. You can have one ounce for zero points. One ounce is unfortunately not enough to make a decent sandwich, but it was enough to get a good taste of it last night, so <laughs> it was really good. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna look up whoever recommended that and give her a big shout out because I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, I am just gonna head off to work and I will probably chat with you guys at my first walk break. I will be doing both my walk breaks today um, and then also my lunch walk with my coworkers. Today, I, what is today? Thursday. Mm, today, I'm supposed to run intervals. Um, I think instead of that, I'm really feeling like I need to start running outside and get myself acclimatized and get used to running on the terrain and not being pushed along by a treadmill. So I think today I will run outside, but I will chat with you guys far before that. So anyway, have a good morning. Talk to you later. Which sunglasses do you guys like better? everyone just a quick hello from my first walk break of the day here is my full outfit today this happens to be one of my favorite sweaters and I had a little non-scale victory this morning when I got to work one of my co-workers said what a pretty sweater and then she said you're so skinny <laughs> so that was good, always nice to hear. I told myself that I was going to make an effort to pay attention to the non-scale victories and especially the not so obvious ones. So that was definitely very obvious, but still, I'm paying attention, I'm making a note of it so that I'm not always just about the number. So that was nice to hear this morning. And I got this sweater from venus.com. If you guys like unique clothing, I highly recommend. Some of their clothing is pretty uh, form-fitting, but I also did shop there when I was larger. You just have to look for different pieces. So I love their clothes. They're very unique. Um, I actually just got a shirt from them last night. So I will try to remember to show you that tonight. I need to get a pair of white jeans to wear with it because it's super cute. So I'll show you guys that later, but if you're looking for some unique, pretty clothing, check venus.com. So um, I had a, I have been enjoying a couple videos about the weekly from the meeting this week, which is funny because in our meeting, we didn't even discuss the weekly at all, which is okay. It's okay to go off topic as long as it's relevant. Um, so we didn't even discuss the weekly in my meeting. And then when I heard uh, Lisa's country kitchen, Lisa discussed her weekly in her meeting and then Gina Pearson also discussed her weekly and then I actually went and took a look at it and it's really good it's about staying on course and the fact that we all slip up 
and it's what you do after you slip up that's most important because we all will do it. No one is 100% on their game all the time. But another thing I find really interesting is Weight Watchers whole think, feel, do campaign is a whole thought process and they're trying to get you used to thinking, changing your thinking process, um, which will then help you change your behaviors. So basically it's a, a type of reality check. So you have whatever thought you're going to have. Um, first of all, what is the thought? Then take a reality check and look at the thought again and is that true? Like I ate a whole bag of cookies. I am so worthless. Is that true? No. And then the last thing is you reframe that first thought. So find a different way. I ate the whole bag of cookies, but at least I didn't then go through the drive-through and eat five bags of fries. You know, so some positive reinforcement and reframing of thoughts. But what I find interesting is that it's so much easier to do when you're talking to someone else, when it's someone else's thought and someone else's irrational response. <laughs> Why is it easier to tell a friend, you're not worthless just because you overate, but when it happens to you and you need to reframe your own thoughts, you can't even like go there. Like you did it, you're worthless, end of story. I just think that's interesting. So I think I forget to try and reframe my thoughts when I'm in that moment. But this week, when I remember that, or when I recognize that I'm having a, an unrealistic thought like that, I want to try to really, first of all, notice the unrealistic thought. And then second of all, talk to myself like I would talk to a friend so that I can look at the, the re reality of that thought. Is it true or not? And then reframe it to be more positive and more constructive and more real. I just need to talk to myself like I am my friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you guys find it easier to, to talk nicely to your friends when they screw up? Everybody does, right? Why are we so hard on ourselves? And especially with untruths like that. Just because I ate two extra cookies, does that mean I'm going to be five pounds heavier? Just because I had three extra glasses of sangria last night? Does that mean I've completely given up on Weight Watchers? <laughs> you know, like, it can be a fine line, but I want to learn to recognize those statements and those thoughts and those truths versus the untruths. So I think that can be a valuable exercise. If I recognize that in myself and when I need to rethink and reframe, I will try to point that out and write it down and let you guys know so we can see if it really works and also if it works to help change behavior in the long run. Anyway, that was longer than I expected. I'm almost back at work. There's much traffic, so people are probably looking at me like, weirdo. <laughs> you know, some days I just don't care. I guess it's more body confidence days or maybe days that I feel like I look good or I feel good. I don't care. If people could hear what I'm saying, I might care. <laughs> but those people in the cars, they don't know what I'm saying. They don't know if I'm FaceTiming someone, right? That's what I always go with. You know what? I'm just talking to someone, so. Anyway, more later. So my two friends that usually go walking with me at lunch were both not available today. I was so tempted just to sit at my desk and not walk and just be a little bump on the log, but then I thought, why not? What else have you got to do? So instead of my usual two and a quarter miles at lunch, today I am doing three miles at lunch. So it's a little better workout because I have to walk a little faster and I have to go a little further, but it's good. I am just enjoying my audiobook and enjoying the sunshine and the breeze and being away from my desk for a while so
Hey guys, second walk break of the day, third walk total. If nothing else, I should have plenty of steps today, right? Big shout out to Hannah T for her suggestion on the Reuben wrap, because you know what? It was awesome. It was so good. I took another picture of it to show you guys. I just want to try to show you how much meat is in it. It's like super duper meaty. So it's very hearty and very filling. It was really good. I think it would have been a lot better if I could have put the sauerkraut inside. Um, but since I made it ahead of time, uh, not a good idea. So it would have been soggy and gross. It was, it was pretty good, just scooping it on top though. So thank you so much, Hannah T. That was a good one. And even though that corned beef was super expensive, I'm definitely gonna have more of those. I put the rest of the corned beef in the freezer, so. Um, oh, I'm also like kind of disappointed in getting a little stressed because I'm feeling sick. Like I can feel it in my throat, so I'm kind of starting to get worried. I'm trying not to worry because my new thing from a couple weeks ago is not to stress, not to worry you know do what i can and whatever's gonna happen will happen so um but i can totally feel it right now and i just don't have time to be sick right now so i'm taking the emergency which is annoying because i feel like um the times when i do start to get sick if i can slam like three emergency in the course of a day it really does help so that's what i'm trying to do but unfortunately the emergency are two smart points each Yes, and I've had a discussion in the past as to whether or not I should even count those points because since it's medicine, it shouldn't really count. Um, but again, it has sugar in it, so that's where the points are coming from. It's actually two points per pack, um, and then three packs is five points, so uh, that's a glass of sangria. So I'm gonna track my points because even if I don't track them, my body tracks them, right guys? So yeah, it's just annoying that number one, I have to be getting sick. Number two, I have to track medicine points. But the better course of action is to try and knock it out before it gets too bad um, because I really don't have time to be down and be sick. I can't take the training time away from, I can't take time away from training um, I've already been off work too much lately and I have too much at home to do so I just can't do it so anyway cross your fingers for me that this emergency works and the throat feels better by morning to bed earlier and number two if I'm not feeling well 
I need I may need to uh, pull back on the workouts for a while which will really disappoint me because that will that means I won't hit some of my goals for the month so I hope it doesn't get that bad um, but I need to not stress about it because the stress will just add to me not feeling good so if I have to miss a run I have to miss a run if I have to run slower I could do that so anyway it's been a very I feel like it was a very productive day today I'm feeling very organized and on track and I just need to go home I need to make all my food for tomorrow and mix up some sangria and just get ready for work tomorrow so we were gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy 1 because we're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2 this weekend but um, I don't think that we have any internet or cable yet because those dummies canceled our account so why would you do that we just moved that's it misunderstanding anyway so no internet or cable yet again tonight thank goodness for phones right um, but I don't have the crown to watch because I finished that last night hmm. what else is on Netflix Netflix is, is um, kind of overwhelming to me because wait if we have Apple TV I think I'm all sorts of crazy because I think Eddie said we could rent Guardians of the Galaxy from Apple TV and last night we were watching Apple TV because that's how we were watching Netflix so I think we might watch Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. I've had a long day. I'm gonna go home, relax, eat salmon, drink sangria. I'll touch base with you guys when dinner's ready. Okay guys, it is now 9.35 and here's what's for dinner. Underneath all this yummy lemon from my mother-in-law's lemon tree is four ounces of salmon for five smart points. Over here I have two-thirds a cup of quinoa for four smart points. And then all this is sauteed vegetables. It is zucchini, um, onion, bell pepper, and carrots for zero smart points. So on my plate I have nine smart points and then I also have one glass of sangria so far for five smart points. And that is what's for dinner, heart healthy fish.